Let's have a look at the stab cushion wreck. We're in riff mode. Let's add a bit of a kick to the proceedings. It's not quite dropping on the one, is it? So let's use the nudge sequence to line it up a bit better. Okay, let's go to art mode and use my favorite setting, fill 13. Quite feeling that. Okay, these maps here, map one and map two, let's unfold it so we can see. Two map assignments, just click on one of them and click on a parameter like filter frequency. It's a bit like MIDI learn. Now there's a difference between ARP mode and RIFT mode as regards how they generate mapping data. ARP mode doesn't produce any variation in the mapping data, but RIFT mode does automatically. In ARP mode, all the values for the maps are the same initially. Then you can just draw some in and modulate the filter frequency. Also, as we'll see in the next tutorial, MIDIVOLVE can automatically evolve the mapping data to provide automatic modulation. Map 2. Similarly, this one's assigned to the pitch of the steps. Some quite mad results. You can control how much a map affects a parameter using the min and max settings here. So for instance, with this pitch map, we can define quite a narrow range of pitch variation. I think I'll turn it off. Let's just listen to the filter mod. Stab Cushion is one of my favorite racks. Quick Evolve gets some variation. We'll be covering the Evolve functions fully in the next tutorial. Let's try fill on 11. Draw a couple of notes in. And it's a decent rhythm. The spread control is quite nice, a stereo effect in the rack. Quick tweak to the delay volume, then a bit of filter drive, find a filter circuit we like. Changing a few note lengths using duration. Let's go somewhere else. I must say, I never know really what I'm doing when I just hit some notes. But I know there's a lot of funky sounds in stab cushion, so sooner or later, I'm going to hear something that makes me go, yeah. The arpeggiator, again, flattened the map data. I guess in the future, we might do a function where the the arpeggiator can automatically randomize map data, but it's the work of a second to draw it in. Whoops. Now that little mistake reminds me, it's also possible to use MIDI Evolve as a real-time effect on what you're playing in from your MIDI keyboard. The first time I showed my mate Darren Sangita MIDI Evolve, he just started playing it like that, and I just hadn't thought of using MIDI Evolve in that way, but it's wicked. We've got the push here, which works pretty well as a controller for MIDI Evolve and the instruments. I can skip through the racks, access the different controls. For instance, change the input Euclidean fill. At the moment, it's 32 out of 32, which is 100%. If I turn it down, on push it shows us a percentage. Here in the patch, I can see now it's showing us 27 out of 32 on the actual patch. I don't want the arpeggiator to close the filter too much when it flattens the data on our new arpeggio. I can just turn the modulation amount down a little bit using the min and max. It 
systems funnock yo thanks for watching this is matt back from cold cut and i hope you enjoy midevolve as much as i am